Hello, today we are building a mini ITX PC for an architect that has some specific needs for this build. So let's go ask her what she needs. Hi. Then we'll get into the build because as you can see, it turned out pretty well. making a computer for you today what would you like your computer to look like i want it to be black compact and sleek what is your budget I want to spend around fifteen hundred dollars what do you want your computer to do i need it to be powerful enough to run architecture programs and multiple programs at once anything else eh, maybe play some civ 6 maybe a little bit of gaming that sounds good let's get to it okay we have our list of things we need to do Let's get building and into the build montage. These are the parts that we have decided to go with for this build. Now, we went through two different motherboards due to the Intel chipset not being compatible with the processor. Right, well, we're getting some sort of yellow light. I don't know if that's good or not. We're not getting an output either, so. But what we realized is the Z790 ASUS board, which is the more expensive board, which we didn't initially want to go with, is the chipset that needs to be with this CPU unless you have a BIOS flashback button or a CPU that's compatible with a different chipset. Since we didn't have a spare processor on hand or the ability to upgrade the BIOS to the new processor line, we had to go with the more expensive one because it came with the correct BIOS out of the box. We really need to see if it actually works. Let's see if this actually turns on. No way! Oh. Oh, thank God. We also changed out our cooling situation from the radiator to the Noctua NHL9i17XX, you know, model numbers. The one that's suitable for the LAG1700 and it's slim. It won't handle overclocking, but it will handle the base processor totally fine. We ended up with a G skill set of rip jaws that are uh, DDR5, 32 gigs of it, and it's at 5600 megahertz, and this is very snappy stuff. The CPU that was causing us so many compatibility issues is the new Intel Core i5-3600KF. Now this is the 13th gen, so this needs to have the matching Z790 chipset or matching upgraded BIOS. So make sure those match or it won't work. We ended up for a graphics card, the MSI Mech Radeon RX 6750 XT with GDDR6, 12 gigs of it. Yeah, quite a bit. So that's nice with how much VRAM is available. And a Samsung 980 M.2 one terabyte. That is just put in the board and then we don't ever have to think about it again. For power, we went with a Lee and Lee 750 SFX power supply. We went with 140 millimeter Noctua NF A14 PWM fans and man are they quiet and move a ton of air. And for the case to all wrap it up, we went with an SSUPD meshlicious mini ITX small form factor case with one of the tempered side panels. So after changing our parts around a different few different times and uh, moving from different cooling solutions and different motherboards and, you know, doing all sorts of mixing and trying to get everything to the right situation, we ended up with a cost of $1,722, which for this type of build and this much power we're getting out of it, it's, it's going to do way more than we need for this situation, so it will last a lot longer. So let's get to customization and how this build actually turned out after we, uh, you know, changed all the parts around. All right, now that we have everything built and put together, let's take a look at how all of the software and all the day-to-day -day stuff will be run on this computer because it's not a gaming computer. It can run some games pretty well, but it's not a gaming computer. This is going to be used as an architectural computer. So rendering stuff. Let's start out with some of the software we're gonna be using on the computer here. With the build that we put together here, it's actually gonna be a little bit overkill for what she's gonna be doing. So AutoCAD works great and there's no issues with using any of the drawings, rendering anything out, or just basic use for business on this computer. 
the system itself is taking up around 9.2 gigs to run it, but that's also with AutoCAD open, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Steam, Xbox, and GeForce Now. And it's, it's just totally fine. As for the GPU, I wanted to get something that wouldn't break the bank, but had a decent amount of RAM on board, just in case that it, it really does bring down render times when you're able to load an entire project into the card versus having to do chunks at a time because there's not enough memory on the graphics card to kind of chunk through the whole project. And with 12 gigs of GPU memory, this thing sails with the stuff it's gonna be using. So other than architecture, we did have one other thing that she wanted to play, which was Civ 6 and a few other things like Dwarf Romantic, I know she plays. What else is good on this machine is emulation. So running old Sims games is also pretty cool. While this is running, I did definitely run the cables pretty close to the graphics card. I actually drilled directly into the graphics card to run some of these cables. Oh, 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 no. ah! oh you can't even see it. Um, which I don't recommend others do, but it came in at, I guess, the 99 percentile. So either were the complete worst at 99 out of 100 or were in the top 1% it seemed like it ran very quickly, so I don't think it's gonna be any sort of problem. So Civ, Civ 6 turned out very well. So between streaming, running AAA titles, and I also tried some emulation, this little machine works great. It is probably much more than Devin will need for her computer, but let's see what she thinks. All right, now that we have it built and we obviously didn't film this all at the same point in time, how do you think the computer turned out? Is it suiting your architectural needs? It suits all of my architectural needs. I think it came out great. I love that it fits exactly on the little shelf on my desk, and it, I love that I can look inside of it. Turned out great. What a glowing review. I think this build turned out great, and I like how everything looks right on the little ledge. So if you really liked this PC build, there's a ton of other stuff that I have on the channel that could possibly be of interest. Like Steam Deck videos and different handhelds and tons of different technology. We like doing projects and weird projects, but uh, none of those projects really do come with pickles. I keep telling people, no one gets pickles with these videos. I would like them to.